With the last update, they added in a new mastery camo event and you know we got to get it unlocked. And from what I've seen, the mastery camo here is pretty nice. It looks like an alternate gold camo. But really quick to go through all the challenges, we need to get 250 operator kills with an assault rifle, which is not too bad. Then for our battle rifles, we need to get 30 headshots. Our marksman rifles, we need 25 long shots. So that's going to be a pain. Launchers is 40 kills. For the LMGs, we need 30 mounted kills. For the melees, we need 30 kills from behind, which is going to suck. For the handguns or the pistols, we need 50 operator kills, but I already got that done with the two new pistols coming out and having to use pistols to unlock it. This one was a breeze. For the shotguns, we need 30 hip fire kills. Should be pretty easy. For the SMGs, we need to get three kills without dying 20 times, which is pretty crazy compared to the rest of these. But I have seen that there is a bug with this one and not tracking. So I'm going to try to do this one first to make sure that we're actually getting progress. And for the sniper rifles, we have to do some more long shots. This time it's 30 of them. Now, from what I've seen floating around, if you use the Lockman sub, the challenge should track or it could be the opposite where if you use the Lockman, it doesn't. So we're just going to hop in and try to figure this thing out. The biggest difference between this new event and last season's event is that we actually have shipment to use to grind for this. Now, we're not going to be able to get some of the challenges on here, like the, the long shots with the snipers and the marks from rifles. But for a majority of these challenges, it's going to make it go by so much faster. Uh, but I would not be surprised if they remove shipment within the next playlist update. So if you guys want to knock out this mastery challenge, I would suggest doing it sooner rather than later. Because it was a huge surprise even seeing shipment still in the game with the, the last update. Normally, every time we get like a new map or anything, they're taking shipment out to try to get everybody to play on the new one. But it was a nice surprise seeing it stay. And I'm getting absolutely bodied. I, I didn't make a, a MP5 class. I thought I'd just pick whatever random blueprint I had. I'm pretty sure this is one of the, the ones from the battle pass. It's not doing too hot right now. Maybe we should switch this out. What other blueprints do I have? I think I have a short one from when we were doing all the short SMGs. I'll try that. Ooh. Not ooh. Very bad. Okay, this thing has a 15 round mag. That is not okay. What am I doing making these classes? At least give me the 40. I'm getting manhandled right now. This is ridiculous. I won't even be able to see if we're getting SMG progress to track because I haven't gotten a single three kill without dying. They're putting me in some crazy lobbies, or at least this first one's kind of wild. Oh, there's finally three kills without dying. Ooh, in a four and a five. Almost six. Okay, maybe I just need to get warmed up. That's the issue here. Come on, one more. Nope. These guys are ready for everything. Come on, that's two. I'm going to play way slower. I'm not going to move. Someone's going to walk over here and get killed. Oh, he did. Just barely got that off. Okay, we're finally out of this cesspool of a lobby i haven't messed up that bad in a minute oh but it is tracking i did get two three kills without dying i think hey, it's better than none i'm so glad they decided to go back to doing the event camos instead of like the trophy hunt event i think the concept for the trophy hunt event was cool but the rewards were just so lackluster that i didn't really care too much but if they want me to like you know up my play time and go for like go for no mammals in here but if they want to add in some events to make me actually try to get some of these rewards. Throwing in any camo, I'll go in and do it. Like they're doing it for ranked, I'll suffer through. I might suck ass, but I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get to that 100 wins. They got one for Warzone now too. If you get like 500 kills or something crazy like that. Shit, I'll try to knock it out. I'll at least get one kill in the Gulag maybe. And then for the raid, the raid completion camo for veteran is insanely cool. So you know I had to go and knock that one out as well. A uh, video on that should be coming out soon, if it's not already out. And then there's that camo from the first raid that you get, like, randomly from completing it. They added in a bunch of rewards for that. I need to go back and do that. I've been meaning to. And they added in, like, a, a secret hidden camo for uh, finding, like, a, a special weapon in the newest raid, too. Like, honestly, just throw in camos to everything, and I'm there. Ooh. That's kind of nice. Oh, and there we go. We got it. That's our first set of camos done. Our first set of challenges done. Let's go ahead and uh, start working on the shotguns. We started out with a little bit of a difficult one. And now we can just move on to something that's a little easier, a little more laid back. But while I'm using this brainless weapon, uh, there was a, a leak 
to come out like a, a day or two ago and it was that the next call of duty game is going to be modern warfare 3 you know crazy surprise there i mean not really uh with them already like rebranding modern warfare 2 for the second time and the next game is supposed to be a continuation of this one it's not a uh, far cry to say that they'd bring in modern warfare 3 but uh i'm keeping my expectations low my expectations were real high coming into this game just cut off of its like namesake but they, they've shown that they're not trying to, you know, replicate those older games. They're just rebooting the series or whatever. But this title is going to be made by Sledgehammer, which, uh, if you'll remember, made uh, Vanguard. And I think they might have made Ghost. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty new into COD. Like, I, I've only been here since the last Modern Warfare. So forgive me if all my COD knowledge isn't up to date. But even though I did not like Vanguard very much, I think Sledgehammer uh, is one of the few studios that actually listens to player feedback. I think it's them and Treyarch that really listen the most. Raven does like here and there for Warzone, but that's such like a, a big property that they kind of just do what they want with it. But I'm hoping that it's going to be a good game. There is confirmed, or at least confirmed by the leak. So, I mean, I don't know for sure if it's going to be in the game, but all signs are pointing to it being there. Uh, there's going to be zombies in Modern Warfare 3. This is going to be the first, like, Modern Warfare zombies. Uh, we've seen Infinity Ward make zombies before. I think they made it in Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, one of those two. Again, forgive me if my, my COD knowledge is off, but I'm, I'm within the same realm. But it's supposed to be like Outbreak 2.0. Uh, I don't think we're getting round base, which is fine. I, I definitely would prefer round base, but I know they're not going to put a whole lot of time and effort uh, into this iteration of zombies if it's just in Modern Warfare. But with all the games now being on the Modern Warfare engine and Treyarch is behind the zombies that's coming up, the, this uh, Outbreak zombies, I think this can kind of show the groundwork and give us a little bit of a preview of what Treyarch zombies going to be like. And my knee-jerk reaction to seeing that there's going to be zombies in the next game was a little bit of, uh, you know, disgust maybe, or, or, or a bit of fear. A little PTSD kicking in from Vanguard zombies. Because we all know how Vanguard zombies went. Uh, it was definitely not the best zombies mode to come out. It was very far from like anything we've seen zombies wise. And it was just overall uh, a disappointment. But I did really like Outbreak and Cold War. It took me a bit to warm up to it, but I think it was fun. You know, a big open world experience to zombies where you can kind of just toss zombies on whatever map. And I don't think it's going to be like the greatest zombies of all time when it comes out for Modern Warfare 3. But it could still be a fun mode. And if they even have like any sort of unlockables in there, hopefully camos. If they have like a mastery camo for it, I'll be hyped. And like I said, I'm trying to keep my expectations low. But I think... Oh wait, we got our hipfire kills done with our shotguns. Let's go. Moving on to battle rifles. But I think the way Outbreak launches is really going to make or break the mode. Because when Outbreak first came out, it was pretty bare bones. We didn't have a whole lot in there. But as time went on and more stuff got added to it, it was actually a really, really fun mode. Like, I don't want it to just be like, oh, we have zombies on, like, ground war maps now. Not that it wouldn't be fun to go on in a ground war map and play zombies, but I want, like, a little more thought put into it besides, like, there's just now zombies in this mode. Like, if we have maybe an Easter egg... Okay, I said I'm keeping my expectations low, but now I'm, I'm raising the bar every time I speak. But if we have maybe, like, a nice, fun, like, Easter egg quest to start us off some cool locations uh some cool new enemies and something reminiscent of cold war zombies i'll be happy with it and the other knee-jerk reaction i had to seeing that treyarch was going to be behind the zombies was one of uh fear because in the last few cod games it felt like treyarch has had to like step in and put their hand into each game and at least work on something and it seems like they haven't really had any time off since uh since cold war came out because if you guys don't know uh i think sledgehammer was supposed to have the game after modern warfare but somewhere in development they couldn't get something done i don't i don't know all the details but i know for whatever reason it was supposed to be sledgehammer's game after modern warfare 2019 and then it ended up switching into treyarch's game and them putting together cold war on uh, an accelerated schedule and i really love cold war I, I think Cold War is probably one of the best modern COD games that has come out in the last few years. And them doing it on that short of a time schedule, you know, gives me a, a little bit of hope into what Treyarch can do for this Zombies. But they've also had to come in and do ranked 
for this game. They had to come in and do the zombies mode for Vanguard as well, but that seemed more rushed. I, I don't think zombies was completely confirmed, like, or not confirmed or leaked or anything for Vanguard this early, like way before release. The, the, the common theory is that last second they kind of wanted Treyarch to make a zombies mode and, and throw it together for Vanguard. At least that's what it seems like because the, the gameplay feels very rushed. But uh, I was listening to Charlie Intel and Modern Warzone. They, they do like this podcast. I don't know if it's a weekly thing, but it th they've been doing it pretty often. And during it is when they announced like the whole leaks of the Modern Warfare 3 coming out and stuff that you should expect to see. And in that, they kind of touched on how uh, more Zombies fans are concerned about how Treyarch is working on everything. They don't have time to work on their own game, but they are more connected and they, they know a little bit more about these studios than I would. And uh, apparently the, every single studio works on every single game and they kind of just like, you know, p partition off parts of the game for them to work on. And if Zombies is going to be in it, I would definitely prefer Treyarch to work on it as long as they still have time to work on their game. But I, I think a lot of us Zombies fans have uh, kind of taken the whole Treyarch working on anything as like uh, a slight on the Zombies community. Because we all just want Treyarch to have all the time in the world to make their own game, but it seems like they're fine. They've had all the this time to work on it. And I don't think it'll take too much out of uh, their next like Black Ops game or whatever they're gonna call it, uh, next year's COD release. Like before, I didn't really think too much into like, oh, every studio is probably working on every game and they're just like doing different parts of it. Uh, I think previously, they just had like one studio work on one game at a time and sometimes they'd hop in and like lend a hand but i think now it's like every single studio under cod's umbrella works on every single game and there's just one studio that leads development and like kind of it's almost like they're directing the game so i'm just hoping that zombies isn't just some throwaway mode that i play a few times and get bored of because I was really disappointed for Vanguard. And as much as I shit out of Vanguard, they did a, a few things right that I think should come back into COD. Like, I honestly think... What was their uh, gunfight type mode called? Let me look it up while we're in between games here. Champion's Hill is what it was called. That was a really fun take on gunfight, and I, I like that a lot. It was kind of like a CSGO type mode where in between rounds, you can buy different weapons and like equipment or even like kill streaks. They, they had it in like solos, duos, trios, and like quads. It's like a refreshing, different way to play gunfight. I definitely think they should keep, like, the original gunfight as well. But I wouldn't be mad to see Champions Hill make a return. They also had combat pacing, which I thought was brilliant. Like, you could choose between what type of game you wanted to play, basically. Like, you want to play a little bit slower, a little bit more tactical. You could throw on 6v6s, but you're like, nah, that's that's too slow. That's not my speed. You can go 12v12. I thought that was brilliant. And they definitely need to bring that back. And then also, they, they listened to a lot of player feedback, and they made, uh, what was it? It was either Ninja or Dead Silence as a perk, which is crazy for current COD games, because it seems like Dead Silence is always just a field upgrade. I would definitely prefer it to be a perk. Uh, I, I also want, like, a classic minimap to come back, where you see red dots based on where, like, somebody's at if they're, like, shooting. Uh, if you're not shooting or whatever, you're not showing up on it. And while I'm saying good things about Vanguard, I think the zombies aesthetic for Vanguard was really cool. Like the lighting, the colors and everything looked great. Just the mode wasn't very fun. So if they can kind of replicate that, that would be sweet. But I think the main fall of Vanguard, at least for me, was the way progression and camo grinding worked in that. And just the, the setting of World War II. I, I think everyone's pretty sick of going back to 1940 to play. So I, I have a slightly good feeling about the next COD game, but like I said, I'm gonna try to keep my expectations managed. But now that I've gotten back into COD and I've been playing it like regularly, like as a an avid player for the last few years, instead of just hopping on casually for like a few months or whatever, and then dropping the game, I, I've just been sucked up in the COD cycle. And I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to help getting excited for the next COD game. So I'm just a sucker. Oh, and there we go. Our battle rifle headshots are done. You know what? Let's get our RPGs out of the way. We're already kind of flying through these. I got a decent amount of the weapon challenges done. Ooh. Oh, that was clean. Hit him with one throwing star and then it's a one shot kill. Oh, oh, we did it again. Crazy RPG kill strat. 
Oh, and there we go. RPGs are done. Time to do the LMG mounted. There's a quick little tip. If you're also trying to get the mounted kills for the LMG, get a deployable cover. Throw it on your class. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, this is too easy. Way too easy. I think I might have gotten the LMGs done, but I don't know. I might have missed the pop-up. Because there's got to be no way I'm not done with this, right? I want a merciless just mounting with this. Yeah, I already got like 33 kills this game. Most of them mounted. Pretty sure the challenge is only 40 and I had like a decent amount coming in. Just to save myself some time, I'm going to assume that I already got it done. And uh, now is the hard part. I'm going to try to do all my, my melee kills from behind. This has got to be one of my most hated challenges in the game outside of long shots. Very rarely do you get to get behind somebody, especially on a map like this. And when you do, they probably got a riot shield down there. Come on. That's so fucked up. That's what I'm talking about right there. Fuck turtles. Holy shit. Almost 70 kills that game. A lot of those were the knife. I hope at least some of those kills were kills from behind. Okay, we did get our mounted kills, but we only had five kills from behind. This is going to take forever. We're in the stretch here where all the rest of our challenges are going to take a bit. Holy KD. Melees are unforgiving. How am I still only halfway there to 30 kills from behind? This challenge is awful. Oh, there we go. Finally. The kills from behind are done. Also, I'm sorry about the mic feedback. I, I had to turn on my AC unit. It's 90 degrees in here. And I'm sweating both in-game and in real life. But now that that's done, we can go ahead and knock out our long shots. Oh, long shots are finally fucking done with the marksmans. Oh, finally. All the long shots are done. Thank God. That probably took the same amount of time it took me to do every other challenge. But we saved a fun one for last. We just need our 250 assault rifle kills. We don't got to do anything fancy. No mounted, no headshots, no kills from behind. Just need to kill people. Deaths don't even matter. I could die like a million times. As long as I'm getting my 250 kills, we're good. God damn. Uh, oh, 74 kills. We're just gonna keep that up and we'll have this done in no time. That's a fat chunk of it done. Damn, dude, you have one good game and you get punished so bad for it. 77 deaths. Holy fuck. Only 100 kills to go. Oh, I think we're all done. Let's go. All right, well, let's get out of here. Man, my hand hurts. It's been three and a half hours of doing this. I. Definitely taking longer than I thought it would. But we can finally rest easy now that it's all done. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it. Get onto our event camos. Ooh, that's nice. That is kind of just like an alternate gold camo. It does look like there's a secondary color on it, like moving a little bit, but I can't really tell what the pattern is. Well, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the event mastery camo looks like. And it is actually really nice. Not very many scratches on it. Hopefully it's one of those camos that eliminates all scratches. Because sometimes some guns just don't have any on them. But pretty nice looking camo. It's like uh, the topo pattern, kind of. But all gold with uh, the back black round. Not a bad looking camo. And here's a look at it on the Tech 9, just for fun. But that's another event mastery camo down. I hope they keep doing more of these. I really like these a lot. Uh, even if it takes me three and a half hours and I get gamer arthritis in my hand, it's worth it. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.